Hi, Chris. Uh, my um, suggestion box uh, opened your channel up to me, and I checked out your channel and noticed you uh, are open for questions, inquiries, shall we say. Well, I have a, I have a few for you, and uh, hopefully you can answer them for me. Um, they don't require physics of any kind. Simple questions. Hey, Chris, why is it that there's not a live camera on the moon showing the Earth revolve 24 hours a day? Why hasn't NASA done that? Surely we have a capability because we've landed probes on asteroids traveling at thousands of miles per hour through space successfully. I'm sure we can successfully land a probe on the moon to show us a live camera feed of the Earth. Hey Chris, speaking about that topic, why doesn't the weatherman have a camera 24 hours a day a live feed showing clouds morph into weather patterns so he can make a better prediction of hurricanes? Hey Chris, I'm sure you're aware of the probe called Polaris to the sun. Why hasn't there been a live camera feed of that going toward the sun and becoming larger and larger and larger as it's entering its orbit to the sun? Realizing it does take seven years to get there, apparently. But we have no camera feed of it. What's going to happen? I guess when we get there, they're just going to pop up the camera. <laughs> so there's nothing going toward it at all. Hey, Chris. Regarding SpaceX Tesla vehicle in space, with the vast temperatures of it, you stated that in the shade it's 200 degrees, minus 200 degrees Celsius, and in the sunlight it's plus 200 degrees Celsius. Why haven't the windshield cracked, or for that matter, air trying to escape the tires? Why haven't they exploded? Why hasn't there been any damage to the vehicle, especially on the paint job, or the headlamps, or any other damage done to the vehicle? As a father, Chris, I could never lie to my daughter. You're lying to millions. Sleep tight.